Hello everyone, it's Steve with Eptair Owners Club. Uh, before we get started on this video, just an update. Eptair Motors put this out. I guess there's been some phishing. Um, so Eptair Motors is not selecting people for an early sale. We are not asking for vehicle payments yet, and we will never ask for vehicle payments over social media. So I guess some um, people are trying to fish uh, Aptera enthusiasts and ask them to send them money. So Aptera is not doing that, so don't fall for it, guys. Okay. Today is November 29th, 2022, and Lordstown Motors has now homologated and certified for U.S. sales. And I was today years old when I found out what homologated means. Homologated just means that they have now approval um, to, and they have gotten approval from the United States to sell the vehicle in the United, in the United States. Um, so they've built 50 of these trucks and they are... Uh, delivering their first vehicle to a customer today. They're on their way. Uh, just as a uh, reminder, uh, Lord Sound Motor, which is NASDAQ uh, ticker symbol RIDE, raised $1.1 billion. So they have burned through $1.1 billion to make it to this point. That's just putting into context. Aptera has raised about $60 million. Um, to make it to the point that there are. So you can see Lord Sound Motor has um, spent quite a bit of money to get to this point. Their first customer delivery, they've built uh, 50 production cars at this point. Okay, so a little background about Lord Sound Motor. Uh, Lord Sound Motor is um, selling these as fleet vehicles only. They're going to cost about $65,000 each. They use four Alafe hub motors. So it's a four-wheel drive vehicle with four Alafe hub motors. Um, and that's why we're interested in them, because this will be the first production vehicle out in actual customer hands that are using the Alafe hub motors. And we are going to get some real world information about how durable and how reliable they are um, out in the real world. Now, Alafe has done a, quite a bit of testing in-house, and they've torture tested their motors by freezing them, dunking them in mud and salt water, all kinds of stuff. Um, and by all measures, they seem to be very reliable and doing very well. But, you know, nothing beats actual real-world testing. Um, so now we're gonna, finally going to get that kind of information. And um, we are going to find out if uh, they run into any problems that uh, were, was not expected and uh, did not come out in the actual uh, testing by Lordstown Motor and by Alafe. Now we're, I'm hoping that they do quite well. Um, I don't know really what the value proposition of Lordstown's trucks are, honestly, because um, if you're a fleet manager, I'm not sure why you would go with an untested company uh, with a more expensive product than with an established company like GM or Ford, um, knowing that you are going to get service and you won't get orphaned. But you know, maybe there's re they have reasons that I don't know about and that they will be um, going with Lord Sound Motor. At least they have a few customers. They are planning on building, uh, f delivering 50 this year and 500, 450 next year. And um, hopefully they succeed. They, they bought this GM plant in Lordstown that used to put out 300,000 Chevy Cruises a year. Um, so um, now Foxconn is running it and building these Lordstown uh, endurance trucks for them. And I heard that they're going to build the uh, the pair by Fisher at that plant as well. Okay, well, um, I think that's very exciting news for Lord Sound Motor and in a way exciting news for us because we're going to get some good information about the Alafe Hub Motors um, uh, and see how that they do in the, in the real world. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, thanks, as always, to our supporting members. Have a great day, everyone.